computer memory. Lofty goal. In this lesson, you will learn about the following. What is a computer? How is data stored in computers? Computer memory. Mighty. I know that I can remember many things because I have a memory. Does a computer also have a memory? Yes, you are right. The computer also has memory, which it uses to store all the data and instructions. Let us explore it. What is a computer? Computer is a machine that can perform calculations automatically. It is an electronic device that manipulates data. You can use a computer to listen to music, watch movies, type letters, and use the internet. Let's define some important terms which will form the basics of the working of a computer. Data is a collection of facts and information. Processing is an act of changing the given data into a more useful form by applying a sequence of operations. Output is the final result which is obtained after the processing of data. A computer is an electronic machine that manipulates information or data. It takes data, processes it, and produces the desired result. The various characteristics of computers are Speed The computer works at a great speed. It can do billions of calculations in few seconds. Memory Computers can store a large amount of data safely in their memory for future use. That is why they are very useful machines. Accuracy the computer is a very accurate machine. It does not make mistakes. Diligence. It can do the same job again and again without getting tired or bored. Versatile. The computer can perform different types of jobs. Multitasking. The computer can do different jobs at the same time. It is a multi-part machine. It has input devices like the keyboard, and the mouse to input data and instructions, a processing device, CPU, to process data, and output devices such as a monitor and a printer to produce the final result. How is data stored in computers? A computer works on the concept of on and off. The computer can only be in two states, on, that is, one, and off, that is, zero based only on two numbers that are 0 and 1 in different sequences. The computer stores data. A computer's memory is measured either in bits or bytes. Each number that is 0 and 1 represents own unit which is called the bit. A set of 8 bits together makes a byte. These are the basic units used to measure the computer's memory. 8 bits is equal to 1 byte. 1024 bytes is equal to 1 kilobyte, KB. 1024 kilobytes is equal to 1 megabyte, MB. 1024 megabytes is equal to 1 gigabyte, GB. 1024 gigabytes is equal to 1 terabyte. HOTS 1024 can be made by raising 2 to the power of what? Bit Bit stands for binary digit. Each one of 1 or 0 is a bit. It is the smallest unit of information or data which can be stored in a computer. Byte. 8 bits combine to form a byte. Each character that you type with the keyboard is made up of 1 byte. Therefore, 1 character means 1 byte. For example, when you type A, it is actually stored as 0, 1. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, which is 1 byte. Similarly, all characters having their corresponding codes made up of 8 bits or 1 byte. Therefore, 1 byte is equal to 8 bits. Computer memory. When you give input to the computer, it goes into the computer's memory. The memory of a computer is divided into two categories. Primary memory Secondary memory. Primary memory. Primary memory is known as the main memory of the computer. 
It stores programs and data which are required by the CPU. It is fixed on the motherboard inside the CPU cabinet. There are two types of primary memory. Read-only memory, ROM. Random access memory, RAM. ROM. Read-only memory keeps the data permanently. This memory is non-volatile in nature. Its data remains as it is even when the computer is switched off. Various types of ROM are PROM, Programmable Read-Only Memory. It is a version of ROM that cannot be changed during normal operation but can be programmed under special conditions. The user stores permanent programs, data or any other kind of information in PROM. EPROM Erasable Programmable Read-Only Memory It is another type of ROM. Its stored data in EPROMs can be erased by exposing it to high ultraviolet light. EPROMs are cheap and reliable. RAM Random Access Memory or RAM is also called Read or Write Memory. It is a volatile memory. The information stored in it is retained as long as the power supply is on. As you switch off power, its contents get erased. How can you know about your PC RAM? To know the RAM of your computer, right-click on the computer icon and select the properties. Some more. Robert Dennard invented one transistor, Dynamic Random Access Memory or DRAM. Secondary Memory Secondary memory is a permanent storage memory. It allows to change, print, copy, move or delete data whenever required. You can also carry data from one place to another using secondary memory. Hard disk, compact disk, DVD and pen drive are some storage devices of a computer. Hard disk A hard disk is also called a fixed disk. It is made up of metal plates fixed on a spindle. These plates are coated with magnetic material. A hard disk can store very large amounts of data and fixed inside the CPU box. Hard disks are generally available in 80 GB, 120 GB and 1 TB capacities. Hard disk has a larger storage capacity as compared to other storage devices. CD-ROM It stands for Compact Disk Read-Only Memory. It is very thin in width and is circular in shape. It can store approximately 700 MB of data. CD-ROM is inserted into a CD drive. There are two kinds of CD. CD-R It stands for Compact Disk Readable. In this type of CD, data once written cannot be changed or deleted. CDRW It stands for Compact Disk Rewritable. Data in this CD can be erased or rewritten. DVD The full form of DVD is Digital Versatile Disk or Digital Video Disk. It is very similar to a CD but can store much more data, approximately 17 to 21 GB. A single DVD can store many cartoon movies. A DVD is inserted into a DVD drive. Pen drive. It is a pen-like device. This device is attached outside the computer at a place called the USB port. USB pen or flash drives come in handy if you have to transfer data between different computers on a regular basis. Additionally, a USB flash drive is fast, portable, durable and reliable. It can store large amounts of data ranging between 1 GB, 2 GB or more. It is the most convenient device to carry data from one place to another as we can put it inside our pockets. A computer system is made up of hardware and software which is further divided into various subunits as shown below. Which one is correct? 